All right, guys, we're over at Zastafel USA, and we got Ronco here. We have a number of different things that you guys are going to be releasing this year, and I, I think the coolest thing that we should probably talk about is this right here. We've got your kind of RPK. RPK, ZPAT M72. Uh, people who are familiar with the Zastava brand during the Yugoslavia era are very familiar with the uh, uh, M72 RPK. Yeah. Uh, it's been used by uh, Yugoslav People's Army for decades. Very reliable. It's based on M70 platform. As you know, M70 receivers are actually RPK receivers. Yes, yes. Uh, it's a 1.5 millimeter receiver with the Poltronion and uh, M72 then starts here, where you have a heavier barrel with the cooling fins and you come with a uh, bypass. Nice. And uh, still comes with a side rail for right. the scope mount. Right, so. and then you have the adjustable rear, just like uh, some of the RPKs yes. as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so that's pretty cool. And uh, this is the look we're gonna aim for. Okay. Uh, as you know, this is a 9.2R compliant part uh, we count furniture for three parts, so we have to come up with a U.S. made furniture. Yep. But we're gonna try to have this battle worn look because we, we really think when thinking, people think about Zastava, they think about the fact that it's a battle proven rifle. Yes, sir. And the battle worn furniture then comes natural with that. Absolutely. Yeah. And this just looks beautiful with this distressed wood. Mm -hmm. That's just that looks really kind of puts the cherry on top, you know? And a lot of, a lot of our uh, Zastava fans have been asking for this for a while. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. This is what been missing in our uh, offer, RPK, and now we're going to have it. Ho uh, we are hoping to bring it this year. As you know, we cannot never promise exact date. Sure, yeah. Uh, you covered actually very well the export ban. Yeah. Uh, it can happen tomorrow. Yeah, You know, Absolutely. with the situation in Balkans, it's very turbulent. Uh, it can go south very yeah. easily, and, and uh, but we you, are hoping to bring it this this year. Okay, and can you kind of talk a little bit about that export ban, just just briefly overview? I know that uh, the last update that I got was that uh, uh, it's it's kind of, we you'll get shipments as per, you know, it's kind of a, a one-off type of thing, or, or yeah, the, how's the it going now? the export ban uh, uh, expired. Right? Okay, right. Uh, but uh, each uh, batch or each shipment uh, requires factory to obtain an uh, export permit. That's valid for one year. Okay. Uh, after one year, they have to apply for a new one. Okay. After the ban, the export permit takes longer. Okay. Uh, they look every detail. Okay. Uh, Serbian government is very, very careful about issuing export permits. Even though it's, uh, it's a factory that is supplying, they're always concerned about the end user. Yep. They don't want these firearms to end up in the of wrong course. places. Yes. So yep. that's... Uh, the leftover from the ban, officially it's it's finished, it's expired, but it take, everything takes longer now to get into it. Okay. So for customers, should they be worried about any uh, lack of firearms coming in? Are you, your supply chain still working okay? Uh, As of now, everything is working fine, but uh, I know customers are worried but we are worried too. Yeah, of course. As an importer, as also a Zastava fan myself, uh, I grew up with these uh, with these rifles, and uh, not to see them coming to the United States, it's very, very uh, uh, sad feeling. Yeah, of course. And uh, of course, everybody should be worried, but as you know, we refuse to use the export ban to uh, increase pricing. Oh, we even yeah. release that we don't want dealers because we don't sell to the public. Right. So when something like that happens, we always sell it to our distributors at this, uh, the price that we purchase from. Mm -hmm. So luckily during the ban, we had uh, some rifle in stock. We sold them at the same price. Yeah. You know, some, some dealers like to uh, use the situation yeah. and uh, we don't want our fans to be uh, uh, kind of tricked. Uh, we don't want panic buy, but the fact is if they're not coming to the country, then uh, we're going to have very, very limited quantity in the warehouse. Yeah, and absolutely. Has gone, then we're going to hope for the best. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I really do appreciate that of Zastava by not increasing prices and then, you know, being transparent as much as possible of what the situation is going. We so always really increase good. pricing. We've just had few increases only if we get increase from the factory. Of course. Yep. Uh, and they get increased in pricing from their vendors, materials, transportation. As you know, everything uh, after COVID, 
is a lot more expensive. Course, and then yeah. uh, here, situation in the United States with the inflation, yeah. we get a lot of calls because uh, maybe you should do a video on 922R. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll invite you this year to yeah. be our guest. We want our customers to actually understand fully Absolutely. What, that how much work we put in these rifles after they arrived in the United Absolutely. States. That would be great. And, and that's also, you know, increased cost in the materials yeah. here in the United States affect the price. Yeah. Huh? Well, what else you guys got? I know you have a couple things over here, which yeah. looks really great. So as you know, last year we announced uh, Underfolder yes. release. It, it, it got delayed by that export ban, sure. but we were able to bring it uh, end of last year. So. Right now, we already sold the uh, first shipment right away. Mm -hmm. It was actually pre-sold. This is what people wanted for years. Yes. And it comes with this battle-worn look, even some initials, you know, to yeah. really, uh, That's really great. Uh, uh, make it look like it came from, uh, from the front, front line. Uh, uh, it comes with, uh, with a bayonet lug mm -hmm. standard. And uh, a lot of people didn't notice, it comes with a side rail. Yes. This side rail was all, uh, actually requirement by the uh, Yugoslav military. Okay. Uh, because the the issue with underfolder was you can't have a scope mount. Of course. Uh, they come up came up with this design where they uh, raised the, the rail and then the issue was a scope mount. Mm -hmm. uh, if you put a regular standard scope mount it's gonna sit too high. We are releasing this within a few weeks. Okay. It's gonna be US made scope mount for a Zast of Underfold. It's great quality and we think it uh, looks great on the on Oh, no, it actually yeah. looks wonderful. And one of the great things, too, is, uh, you know, I think it was a year or so ago, you did come out with uh, a underfolder that was a kit that yes. was an add-on, yeah. but yeah. this is actually an underfolder rear trunnion, and yeah. I think that that yeah. is yeah. really, really cool. Again, the battle-worn look on this wood just makes it look so much better, and uh, I'm really excited. Everything else is exactly what you should expect, uh, you know, um, I'm trying to think, uh, the chrome, chrome line, line barrel, there we go. Yes. chrome line, hammer forged barrel, obviously the bulge front trunnion as well. Mm -hmm. So you know, yeah, that's that's something I'm really excited to get my hands on this year too. So, okay. and then uh, what's also new release is Zastava ZPEP M7. So what's new about that? <laughs> it's uh, anniversary edition, right? Okay, anniversary edition, as you know, recently factory celebrated 170 years in business. That's amazing. It was yeah. formed in 1853. Last year was big. But what's new about this is a bayonet lug. Okay. So from now on, all M70s will come standard with a bayonet lug. That's nice. I know a lot uh, of people ask for that. Yeah. Yeah. Ask for that, and uh, as you know, Zasta Arms USA always tries to meet demands, and this yep. is one of them. Yep. So you can expect by an lag uh, from now on. That's cool. And then this is really interesting as well. You guys are going to be releasing a package deal on yeah. these. Uh, M77 DMR package. Yes. So it's going to come with a flash hider, a scope mount. We are looking to option uh, to have a Serbian made uh, scope mount. This one even has our logo. Okay. Right? This yeah. is just a sample. Yep. And then we are looking for uh, optics uh, this is just uh, for the display uh, optics that will look like a Zrak optic, like okay. original optic that was used on M76. Okay. So we're, we are aiming for that look, and uh, this is going to be released this year. We don't have a specific date yet. We are working uh, uh, on a few details, but uh, also, as you can see, a yep. different stack. A little cut out there so yeah. you can add a cheek riser yeah. or yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah, that looks good. And it's chambered in a 308, yeah. has an adjustable gas block. Uh, we'll try also maybe to, to include 20 round magazine and 10 round. Okay. This is more for the look of M76. Yeah, outstanding. Okay. Uh, anything else you want uh, to uh, we, look at? Uh, as you know, ATF banned braces at some point, yep. and then a lot of sales for AK pistols dropped. What we've done, we converted pistols to rifles. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have them on another wall okay. here. Oh. We're off in this. Here we have a ZPAP 85 rifle. Yeah. So it's pin and weld extension. And this one has a side folder, uh, US made, so it's 920R compliant. Uh, Magpul pistol grip and uh, vertical grip. 
and this rifle in 5.56 does not have recoil. No, yeah, it's been Especially really, really with these refined. ribs, and yep, yep. Uh, uh, a lot of people get surprised how almost no recoil. Yeah, and with, uh, you know, 5.56 AK is becoming more and more popular here in the United States, I think this is going to be a great addition. Yes, yeah, we already have, as you know, uh, M90, right. great size AK in 5.56. Five, we have standard M70 in 762 by 39, M76 in 308. Yep. We have all the calibers. Yep. Outstanding. Yep. All right. Uh, what else is there? Something else you wanted to... I can just show you here how Zastava always tries to bring something new. Uh, uh, we also support other Serbian brands. Yeah, absolutely. In the United States. This is one of them. It's a little bit unusual for firearm company, but we will sell these dresses made uh, from empty uh, casings. Yeah. And uh, this, actually, the designer from Serbia is here. She's a practical shooter, mm -hmm. shooting champion. Oh, nice. Uh, yep, so yep. she is connected with the firearm industry. She also formed a women's only shooting club. So that's how we got connected. And we think it's something unique. Yeah, it actually and, is. The uh, United States is the right country for uh, yeah. unique things. Yeah, and, th and this is something you're going to be offering in the United yes, States. Yes, well. it's custom made. Yeah. Uh, we're going to offer it. And uh, it's actually great for a firearm companies for a display yeah. to bring the traffic uh, to the booth or in the lobby of their companies. Absolutely. Uh, or if somebody really has a girlfriend with a unique taste, yeah. you know, there this you is go. it. Yeah. Actually, this you can wear. So, yeah. Yeah. so it's I'll not say. only for a display. Yeah. Also releasing this year is uh, Zastava knife. Oh wow! Uh, That's as cool. you can see, it resembles uh, hangar Zastava hangar, yeah, yeah. OTF uh, Prime Steel. It's uh, in a partnership with a company from Portland, Maine. Okay. And uh, has a reversible clip, glass breaker, and we really, really think uh, this is nice addition for a side protection for our you, yeah. our fans yeah. and. Uh, it's with the company Tecto. They are already well known in, in this business. This is prime quality, and they're gonna uh, have an MSRP around $250. Okay. Which we yep. think it's a reasonable for a. For I, I think I think that uh, fits in with the market right now with those types yeah. of knives. Yep. Then, as you know, we offer CZ Triple Nine Zastava nine mm handguns. Uh, this is uh, laser engraved. Oh, nice. Uh, it comes with a so a handgun comes with this walnut uh, case. It has a Serbian crest on it, oh, so yeah. there's no mistake where it's coming from. <laughs> yeah. uh, we also offer hand-engraved uh, handguns. We have few uh, in stock. Uh, Zastava Arms uh, factory has a master engravers, and this is something for uh, for people with uh, again unique taste yeah. and yeah. love for Zastava. Yeah, that looks This nice. one has a Zastava crest on the slide also. And the reason why we did laser engraved to bring the price drastically down for people who want to have these features but don't have a very deep pockets. Yeah. So this is the solution. That really fits good in the hands. Yeah. Too. That feels nice. Oh, that's great. That's really cool. All right. What? Anything else that you guys wanted to touch And we also always uh, want to tell people that they need to properly maintain their Absolutely. firearms. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so this is Dernch. If you are not, uh, if you have not served in a Yugoslav military, this name doesn't mean anything. Okay. But Dernch is uh, is a well-known name, and a lot of people who serve the Yugoslav military still smell it, right? <laughs> because it was lifesaver. You had to keep your rifle always clean, maintained, mm -hmm. and they use Dernch. Right now, this formula was upgraded, so it's three-in-one product. It cleans, preserves, and lubricates. It's used by Zastava factory. So each of these ZPAPs actually took a shower in Dernch in nice. the factory. Okay. So they, uh, every ZPAP has Dernch on it. So it will be natural to use this, exactly the same lubricant. We also use it during 920 to our compliance. And we have it available on our website, zastavarmsusa.com, through distributors. We want to make this household brand oh, absolutely. because it's very important for our ZPAPs to be maintained properly. Right, absolutely. Well, you guys are just releasing a whole bunch of great stuff. Uh, obviously, we're going to get a lot of B-roll in here mm -hmm. so people can see up close uh, some of the new stuff. And I really do appreciate all your time today to talk about this stuff. I really would love to be able to link up with you guys, come up and see you, uh, and, and yeah, do a yeah, video yeah. on 922R compliance. Yeah. I think that's really important. Yeah, we've done already uh, uh, one, and uh, people were surprised. Mm -hmm. Like, they did not even know. Mm -hmm. 
because people are saying, oh, how come now rifles are $1,000 and uh, 20 years ago they were 500 Exactly. Okay. 20 years ago they were no 922R. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, people need to know how much effort we put. Yeah. We also appreciate your effort. Uh, your videos are actually very, very educational. Appreciate uh, that. People that uh, things that you say actually are correct and people need to listen to what yeah. you say. Yeah. And uh, I know sometimes we can and we provide to get in touch with us, especially during the ban. Yeah. Uh, it's very important to inform our, our customers of what's going on, uh, especially with the things that we cannot control. Yeah. Uh, sometimes okay. politicians like to make our business harder, but yeah. we fight back. So. Yep. yep. Well, thank you so much, and I really do right. uh, look forward to all your new releases all this right. year. Thank so. you. All right, thanks, guys.